there were relatively few nest cliffs, uh, tall rock nest cliffs available for glaucous macaws compared to the large number of big rock cliffs that are available for the nesting of hyacinth and Lear's macaws in central and northern Brazil. So we feel that the lack of, of numerous safe cliff nesting sites for glaucous macaw would have made them very easy uh, prey for people who wanted to either shoot them or catch them to sell as, as uh, pets. And in searching under the cliffs they were searching for any um, evidence of glaucous macaw feathers, molted feathers, or any evidence of, of cut palm nuts or any bones of uh, perhaps deceased birds that would have fallen out of the nest or been pushed out of the nest. The, uh, the team members not only looked below the cliffs but actually uh, climbed up into the cliff faces or onto the cliff faces and searched inside cavities that looked like they would have been appropriate for glaucous macaws to nest inside. There's ample historical evidence that European colonization brought tremendous change to the habitat of, of the glaucous macaw. Specifically, uh, European uh, cattle ranchers and, and domestic animal ranchers in general were clearing habitat and burning all the grasslands and the butia palm groves uh, every year uh, in order to produce grass for the cows. And so virtually all of the natural habitat of glaucous macaw was converted to grazing for European cattle within perhaps only a few decades of the arrival of European colonization to the area. There also were very few natural cliffs in the area. And in fact, the bird probably nested in, in low, uh, fat, tropical trees uh, more often or as often as it did in, in river banks or low cliffs. Nearly all of the fat, tropical trees that would have been nest sites for glaucous macaws were destroyed by European colonization, specifically by the burning and habitat clearing for cattle ranching. There was no natural refuge for the glaucous macaw because the nest cliffs they used typically were along the main rivers, the, the Rio Uruguay, the Uruguay River, and the Rio Paraná, the Paraná River. And these two rivers had high banks on the side that would have been adequate for some macaw nests, but the banks would have been very easy for both Indians and European colonists to gain access to using simple ropes. So in fact, these two heavily transited rivers were major rivers for uh, commerce and transport of all kind. And so there was no way that birds nesting on the riverbanks there, uh, on, the, on the high banks and the rivers could escape uh, the depredations of people who wanted to either shoot them or catch them to sell as pets. The Glaucus macaw expedition found no physical evidence whatsoever of the survival of Glaucus macaws in the wild. That is, they found no evidence of use of the nest sites, no evidence of feathers left behind or of cracked palm nut shells. From the interviews of the oldest residents, the team determined that there had been no uh, sightings of the wild birds, in fact no indication of any large macaws in the area. An important result of the Glaucus macaw expedition is that certainly the species is extinct and therefore we do not need to spend any more resources, uh, either financial or time, on worrying about the glaucous macaw, but rather trying to simply learn lessons from the extinction of the glaucous macaw, thereby preventing the extinction of the other endangered blue macaws like the leers, the hyacinth, the spixes, and the blue-throated. <coughs> the leers macaws that are in captivity in the Rio and Sao Paulo zoos, and also leers macaws bred in captivity around the world, could be released in the historic range of the glaucous macaw, particularly in areas that have healthy uh, groves of the butia palm. Uh, if one were to release Lear's macaws into the historic range of the glaucous macaw, the result would be simply replacing the extinct glaucus with an ecological equivalent, and you would give these Lear's an opportunity to thrive in that area and would increase the possibility that Lear's macaw survives into the future by having a separate population of the birds from the population in northeastern Brazil.